Thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today... I want to show you what I got for my birthday. So some of you may remember, and most of you probably don't, but my birthday is August 10th. And I had to work that day. That was my Friday because I work third shift and I work Saturday to Wednesday, 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. But anyways, um, my birthday was my Friday night at work. So we really didn't celebrate it until Thursday. But I have um, I received a couple of things in the mail that I'd like to share with you. And my children gave me money. So my, um, I have three sons that still live at home, two are 18, one is 19, and between the three of them, I got $90. My mother sent me 60, and actually I don't have that to share with you because I use that money on the BoxyCharm um, drop shop, but when it comes in the mail, I'm going to record it, so that way um, I can show you what I got. And, um, so anyways, I just took my money and I went to TJ Maxx and Walmart. I have three bags from TJ Maxx, two bags from Walmart. Most of it is clothing. Some of it's, um, beauty related. And I'm also going to try on the clothing that I got because I know a lot of people like that. I like videos like that. So I thought, why not just throw it in? So let's go ahead and start with my Walmart stuff first. So even when I shop for clothing, I buy everything that is on sale if it is possible for at least myself. I barely shop for myself as it is. So even though I honestly would rather shop for myself, like I'd rather get money or gift cards or whatever, unless you really, really know me because if I don't like something that you got me, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. And a lot of people think that's very rude. And rather it's rude or not, that's just who I am. So I do like to go shopping for myself. And I love to get everything on sale. But sometimes, I guess, it's nice to get gifts. Especially when people know who you are. And they know what you like. And they get you things that you like. Anyways, I just keep jabbering on. So I got three pair of leggings. They're all $3 a piece, and because I'm a fatty, I got extra large, but I have lost some weight, so last time that I checked, I was down to 224, I haven't checked in a minute, but I absolutely love leggings. If anything, I love to sleep in them. And then I found a couple of t-shirts that they were like, because I never keep the hangers. I always throw the hangers out when I'm, you know, checking myself out at Walmart because I use the self-checkout line. Um, but it was like two shirts on one hanger for the price of one. So this was just a regular gray shirt. And that is a extra large 14, 16. And this too is an extra large 14 and 16 and I got both of them for six dollars. So I didn't think that was too bad. Two shirts for six bucks is a good deal. And I can wear both of these shirts with all my leggings if I wanted to. Then the thing that I got that I love the most because I love onesies, like I'm sure there's another name for them, but it's a one piece outfit and I call them onesies. So this is what it looks like and it goes, you know, down. It's gonna look like a dress, I think, kind of, when it's on. And I love the fact that it came with these straps so that way um, I can put it on and use straps because let me just be honest, the girls right here are too big and heavy that I can't go strapless on anything. No bras, no shirts, no nothing. And this is a extra large, um, extra, extra large. And I got this for $11. It says $17.98, but it rang up for 11 bucks and it was on sale. Like this one didn't have the sale sticker on it, but it was on a clearance rack and I said all the rest of them that were um, hung up said 15, but then when I ring it up at the register, it was 11 and I was like, hell to the chija. And I know this is more of like a summer look, but I will wear this during the winter time too. I'll put this on and then throw like um, a sweater or whatever you call them. 
over it. Now for TJ Maxx. I had to get more razors. They were both $4.99. This one has the um, eyebrow razor and the face razor. And this one has just face razors. And I'm finding out um, that face razors don't stay as sharp for as long as my eyebrow razors do. So I'm going through them more. So that's why I got this one that just has eight razors in it. So I gotta keep my face shaved, ladies. And then I found this, um, what is it called? A plush fabric um, linen. It is a gel bead eye mask. And I have one of these that I got from the dollar store, but it was for cold. And this one is for hot and cold. And I'm like, I love the one that's just for cold, but there's been a couple of times that I was like, oh, wish that I could warm it up and like use it as a hot pad instead of a cold pad. And so when I found this thing, let me see if I get a little bit closer. Um, and it was on sale for $4. I was like, hell to the chija. So I got that. And then I found this headband for when I'm doing a makeup that's purple and green. And I got that for $3. And so I was like, yup, gonna have fun using that. And the last um, non clothing item that I got from TJ Maxx is the Lux and Willow five piece eye brush set with mug and it says self love. And I found this on sale for $8 and I just thought it was super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna use the mug for because I can't be drinking coffee no more, which really, really sucks. I can't wait until my stomach tissues start getting better. So that way I can, oh, I don't know, drink some coffee every once in a while. Now to the clothing. So when I went in, I was looking for like really fun, cute shirts, mainly to wear when I record because like, I don't go nowhere or do nothing by choice. Like um, my husband wanted to take me to ride horses for my birthday because I love horses and I love riding them. But um, you go in a group, it's a group setting. I don't do well in group settings. I have a mouth and I can't keep it shut. So I, you know, I was like, thank you, but no, thank you. We'll find something else to do or do nothing. Like I could care less if we celebrated my birthday or not. So anyways, um, but I went in looking for like really, really cute shirts and I found this winter like i don't know what it's called i think it's like a sweater and it came with this um headband and it was only four dollars like i could not believe it and it is so it's like one of those um like really soft like cozy like uh lap blankets that you have you know that you put over your lap that like just covers from like your midsection down to your feet or whatever but I was like, hell yeah, like, I've got to get that if it's only $4. Then I found this shirt right here, and um, I was told it was old lady-ish, but I don't give a fuck. I think it's cute as hell, and that was $8, so I didn't think that was too shabby. And I got this in a, oh, I didn't even look. I got it in a medium, so it may be a little tight on me, but I don't give a shit. I normally wear large or extra large, but mediums just mean that my boobs stick out more. So then I found this shirt right here, and this is more of a like summer shirt, but if I'm wearing it to record videos, I have a wood, wood uh, burner. <laughs> so even though we got a new wood burner, like it's still gonna be hot in my house. I uh, dress like it's summertime when I'm in my house during the winter time, and I got this on sale for $8, and this is a size large. So I'm glad I found that. And then I'm going to show you my favorite piece last. And then I don't know why, but I decided to look in the dresses. I never wear dresses. Like hardly ever do I wear dresses, but they had a lot of dresses on sale, a lot of summer dresses. So I looked through and I found this dress. It's just a really simple, easy peasy dress. And I found this on sale for $4. And this is a extra large. And when I try it on, I'll try it on like a dress, but my intentions for this piece is to use it as a nightgown with one of my leggings because that's what I wear at night when I sleep is either a nightgown and leggings or a t-shirt and leggings or sometimes shorts if I don't use leggings. But my favorite, favorite shirt that I found there is this one right here. I absolutely think it is cute as hell and I hope it fits me because the only size they had left in it was a size large and that was six dollars and I just think it's so pretty. I was told this is an old lady shirt to you but you know what? 
I'm a fucking old lady, I guess. I've got four grandchildren and I just turned 43, so might as well dress my age, right? <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the try-on portion now. Alrighty, so this was my favorite shirt from TJ Maxx that was $6, and it is a large. I probably would have done better with a extra large, but this was the only size that they had, so it is very form-fitting on me, but you know what? If I can get it on, I can wear it. Here's my second shirt from TJ Maxx, and this is $8, and it was a extra large, and I like it way more better than the other shirt because I'm always going to be an extra large with the girls here. So, I like clothes that fit me loosely better than tight. But anyways, I really like this. I think this whole outfit looks really good. Here is my third shirt that I got. This was the medium. And um, I think that, I don't know, I've been sitting here trying to figure out why in the hell I would grab a medium. And the only thing I can think of is when I was shopping at TJ Maxx. Oh yeah, it was $8 and it was a medium. But anyways, when I was shopping at TJ Maxx, you know, one of the ladies that worked there came and asked me if I needed help. And instead of saying, no bitch, I didn't ask you for help, I smiled and said, no ma'am, if I need help, I'll ask. And I think that's when I was looking at this shirt because there was like, you know, a little stack of them and they were from small to um, extra large. And I think that's probably how I ended up grabbing the medium. I barely got this on me. Um, so I'm a little worried and my girls are really tight, like really tight. So I am a little worried about how I'm going to get it off. Wish me luck. And here is my cozy sweater shirt. I don't like that when I go like this, that it shows my midsection. So I'm going to have to wear it with a, um, a wife beater or, um, a straplet, or what are they called? Spaghetti strap t-shirt things, you know, the shirts that look like white beaters, but they have the really, really thin um, straps instead of the thicker ones. Um, this was $4, and it is an extra large. I do like the way that it looks on me as long as my arms are down, and it does feel so cozy, and I can't wait until it gets warmer, not warm enough, cold enough to where I can wear this for a whole day. Right now in northern Michigan, it's getting chilly at night and chilly in the morning, but still during the midday, I'd be sweating my ass off. Alrighty, like I promised, here is the dress, and because I don't... Hmm, I don't wear dresses very well, so I feel really awkward being in a dress to begin with, but I did find this on sale for $4. It's an extra large dress. It is very form-fitting. Definitely shows the hips, the ass, and the belly pouch. Um, I even shaved my legs <laughs> for this. I don't know if it would have mattered if y'all had been able to see it or not, but definitely turning this into a nightgown. I don't know like if this looks good like if it would look better with a belt because i'm not a dress person and i have like no accessories to go with the dress all right so these are the leggings that i got at walmart for three dollars they do go up higher than normal um which is great because i'm going to mainly use these for sleep and i don't like the ones that are baggy or too long because i like them to be like kind of i don't know form-fitting and i don't wear socks in the winter time so i like my feet to breathe I'm going to take my nightgown off yet because, like, this is what I would look like if I went to bed. I just throw my nightgown on, throw my leggings on, and I'm ready. And I go out in public looking like this because I just don't care. So this is one of my shirts that I got, two of them, for 6 bucks. So this is a $3 shirt. I just went ahead and paired it with these leggings. And I never shop for myself, hardly ever. I don't look for, like, clothes that fit me. The tag that tells you how uh, much it is, so this was extra large. This is not an extra large. So I looked and it's actually a large. So note to self, I'm gonna have to actually start looking at the tags on the clothes. But uh, these ones go down to your ankle almost instead of up here. That's fine too, as long as they're like tight fitting. And I normally like my t-shirts to come down a little bit further, but in reality, this is going to be pajamas but yes i would wear this out in public too because i just don't care i tell you what i am breaking a sweat taking off all these clothes and putting them all on but here is my second two for six dollar shirts so three dollar shirt here are some three dollar leggings and i think this looks really cute together um and it goes almost 
or it's like the other ones where it comes up a little bit, almost like they're khakis. This shirt is the exact same size as the black shirt, and even though they're both largest, I think this one fits me better. It comes down a little bit further. My girls don't feel like they're suffocating. So now for the final, final try on, and I can't wait because whoo, your girl be sweating to death. And for the last and a final outfit, my favorite, my onesie. It is so comfortable. It goes down to your ankles. It is very, I wish I could show you, but it's like very flowy. Um, I could even wear this as pajamas. Like, honestly, it's like so comfortable. <clears throat> I couldn't go without a brawl. I never can usually. I did try, but my girls were just like hanging down here and I was like, yeah, I'm not wearing it like that. But I'm so glad that I decided to buy this outfit. I do hope that you enjoyed the try on part of this video, but if you stay tuned, I have a giveaway. So before we get to the giveaway, I forgot, I got too excited about the giveaway. I also got um, a box sent to me from my sister-in-law, Mary, and her husband, Gary, and their twin daughters. Um, and it says, happy B-day, sister-in-law. And then it says, we heard it was your B-day, sister-in-law. Hope We hope your year is filled with happiness and all of your wishes come true. I don't think that Mary watches my channel, but if she does, thank you very much. Um, but she got, she sent me a box that had like a, I'm gonna put a picture like over here, um, of like a brownie. It was like a chocolate chip cookie brownie type thing, and it was delicious. And then Pinky Jean from um, YouTube sent me a package for my birthday and I was super excited that um, somebody had a thought about me. I had already opened it but I put it back in the package. So she sent me a little package like this. She has a card that she printed out that says happy birthday and it has all kinds of, oh wait a minute, yeah I, put, I was holding it the wrong way. <laughs> it says happy birthday and then when you open it, it has all kinds of fun confetti in it, and it just says, Hey Joy, I will be thinking of you on your birthday. Thank you for entertaining us. And then over here, it says, Hey Pete, have an absolutely amazing birthday. Just me, Jean. Thank you so much, Jean. You brightened my day because I was a little bummed that not many people remember my birthday. I wasn't too bummed because I don't remember a lot of people's birthdays either, so I feel like it is what it is. But when you do, when somebody does remember it and you don't expect them to, and then you get something in the mail, it's just super exciting. So anyways, what she sent me is a vitamin C clay mask. And I love to mask. I haven't been doing it as much, but I love to mask. Um, she sent me some natural eye and brow pencil, easy glide on twist up pencil by Rejuvia Minerals. I have no idea, but... It is definitely going to come in handy. I most likely use it for my brows. Um, and she sent me a on the go Neutrogena makeup wipe, and I love putting them in my purse. Then a teddy bear paper clip, which is so cute. She sent me some energy and focus powdered with natural caffeine, balanced with L theanine, infused with B vitamins, nine pieces. I don't know exactly what this is. I am going to. Um, have to look into it, but if I cannot use these, I'm sure one of my boys will use them. And then these are sticker marker peep out. I don't know exactly what they, oh, bookmarks. They're bookmarks. So that's super cute. See, they're made of like little teddy bears. I don't know if my fans are my fans on. Well, it is on, but that's not what's causing the blindness. My um, light's on, but those are super cute. And then I think these are stickers or little notepads and they're just birthday cakes. She sent me some under eye gel thingies and that's super cool. And a relax me with lavender face mask. And I love lavender. And thank you again so much, Jean. If you don't know who Jean is, I'm going to link her up in the little white dot and up in the little white dot, slow down joy, and down in the description box so you can go and check her channel out. And she has a amazing channel. She does a little bit of everything. She does unboxings, she does hauls, she does um, like, I don't know if she actually reads from the Bible, but like Saturdays or Sundays, she'll post um, Bible things um, to help like lift your spirit. And I go to her channel a lot too, because she's so positive. And because I'm negative, 
um, I try to hang out with, or not hang out because I don't hang out with her in real life, but I hang out with her on her channel. I try to hang out with people that are really positive on YouTube, and Jean is a really positive person. So, now that that is done, to the giveaway. I had been planning a giveaway for a minute now. I wasn't sure. I was like collecting stuff here and there that I was coming across, and then I decided I wanted to do a late birthday. So, the first thing that I'm going to give away is the um, five piece brow set with mug. When I bought this, I knew that I was going to be giving it in my giveaway, but I didn't want to say that when I was unboxing it or unbagging it or showing you what I bought from TJ Maxx, but um, I did know when I got this because I don't have any more of the um, eyeshadow brushes in my collection to give away. And when I give away makeup, I do like to try to add some like makeup accessories so we're gonna go on I did add a couple of my favorites in this giveaway and then I also just threw in some stuff that I just don't really want anymore or I don't think I'm gonna use and it's gonna go bad before I can get to it so the first thing that I am giving you is this um, age defy dark circle and um, puffiness serum and you can get these at the dollar store they used to be buck but now they're dollar 25 my dollar store still sells them and I absolutely love it when you open it up it's got like a metal ball and you just roll it and it's just so relaxing um, I use mine every morning the second favorite thing that I am giving away is my phase 10 line phase 0 what is it called blush and bronzer trio and if you've been with me for a while you know that this was my favorite I actually bought two of them a little while ago and I did say one was gonna go on a giveaway um, I just want to show you that so that's the outside packaging and here is the inside it does have a plastic thing there are all of the colors Alrighty. Make sure it goes right back in this bag because I want it to get to you or whoever wins. I want it to get to without it being broken. Third thing that I am putting in the giveaway that I absolutely love is my Elmas Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. And um, oops, I just ripped that box, but I promise it's brand new. I've been sitting on this, wanting to give it away, not wanting to, wanting to. Like, oh, I'm going to need it for backup, but I'm going to get mine out and show you how pretty it is. So here's mine. Here's what I'm going to give you. You can use it by itself or um, add it to your foundation. I normally, oh shit, I always, okay, I normally use it by itself. So it does come out like that and then you just rub it in and it like just gives your body a little glow. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. If not, I just did that for nothing. <laughs> but that is my third favorite item that I am giving you. And let's see. My fourth favorite item is the Violet Boss. I have loved every Violet Boss palette that I have gotten, and this is the Wildflower Fun Sized Eyeshadow Palette, and I have not tried this particular one because I have, I was going to, but then I changed my mind. And here are the colors, I'm just going to keep that plastic thingy on there, but um, I have a lot of colors like this, and I would rather give it to somebody that can maybe get some use out of it because I barely get use out of the hundred and some palettes that I have open, let alone the almost 50 that I don't use. So I think I'm just going to start giving some of them away. The fifth favorite thing that I put in here is the Sigma liquid lip. I had one. Um, I threw mine away because I, like when you pull it out, the little thing, no, did I throw mine away? I could be lying right now. It could be a different one. I'm not sure, but anyways, when I got this, I got one in either it was my Allure box or um, a glossy box. 
I don't remember which, I'm banking a lure box and then I won one in a giveaway and I absolutely love it. So I hope that whoever gets this loves it. If not, I'll pass it on to somebody else. So then we have the Kinder Beauty. This is a blush palette. Well, a blush and highlight palette. Maybe it's just a highlight palette. I'm lying. It was just a highlight palette. So I have one. That's what I should do. I should have skipped home. I want to make sure that it's not broke. I like to do that. So this is what it looks like on open it uh, okay it does have a little mirror you get a little plastic thingy and yes I forgot all of these are highlights different colored highlights or I think they do that for like different so that way more than one color skin tone can use it it can be wrong I don't know because there was um at least one shade that was a little bit too dark for me so that's the only reason why I assume that Alrighty. Then I have this Wet n Wild Very Black Boost Lengthening Mascara that I'm going to have in the giveaway. I have two CoverGirl palettes. I actually, I got these for Christmas. Like, when we had the accident, if you've been with my channel, you know about the accident my family was in. And some of the people from the school, like, bought us Christmas presents. And this was one of them. And I have never opened them. Um, I love CoverGirl makeup, but I have... So many colors like this and I'm never ever going to reach for these palettes so I am trying to get rid of everything that I know I'm not gonna reach for or that um, I'm just you know I know I'm never going to use have time to use it before it goes expired and then I have this cover girl perfect point plus eye pencil um, and it is in black onyx so that I think is gonna be pretty dark and then I have a Eloise, it's, this is a liquid, um, liquid eyeshadow and I don't do liquid eyeshadows. So I figured I'd just throw it in there and it's, see, it does look like it's like old, but if you shake it up, like, cause I've never opened it, but that's the color that it is. And I'm sure even though you can see like some little bubble things in there. And if you know you start using it, it'll be fine. It shouldn't be expired. If it is expired, I apologize. Then it was expired when I got it because I've never opened it. And then I'm throwing in this. Everything's so dirty in <laughs> my house. I live on a dirt road. My yard is practically dirt. So everything is always so dusty in here. But I'm going to throw in this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills loose highlighter in the shade Vegas. And I know that um, I gave away a highlighter palette. But I can guarantee you the highlighter palette is not going to be as shiny as this highlighter is going to be. But I don't do loose powders. And even though the packaging is so cute, I try not to keep anything just because the packaging is cute. Okay, and then I have this um, Satin Soft Blurring Primer and Finishing Fix Ultra Prime. Um, I don't know what the company is unless blurring prime is but anyways here is this i got this in like an ipsy bag i think when i was getting ipsy and then i um i got one one in a giveaway i personally don't like this because i don't know why i just i tried it a couple of times and i just didn't like the way it felt so i hope whoever gets it likes it if not we like a lot of the same things probably and dislike a lot of the same things and then the last thing that i'm going to be putting in this giveaway is this this is called Beauty That Pops. This is the Elf um, Jelly Pop Jelly Poppin' Skincare Set. I love gel moisturizer, gel um, cleansers. So this is the this is a watermelon glitter face mask. This is the um, water gel moisturizer, and this is the um, watermelon jelly cleanser and. I bought this a while ago on sale on e.l.f. website for like seven bucks and I really, really was looking forward to um, using it. But the problem is, is that uh, I've just, I've got so much skincare going on that um, I'm trying to get everything used that I've opened in the last year or whatever, year and a half to get it before it goes bad. And I'm afraid that because that's a jelly product or a gel product that it's going to go bad if it just sits there because I have had some things go bad. But the last thing, I thought that was the last thing, but I lied. I'm good at lying sometimes. Not on purpose, but I just do it. Um, but I'm also throwing in these brushes. I don't know. They're called 
Velen, Argent. I know I got these from like Ipsy and they were like ridiculously priced. Like I want to say like over 80 bucks or something. So because I have the, um, fuck, I can't even think because I have the, the eye brushes, the eyeshadow brushes. I also wanted to throw in brushes that you can use to do your blush and highlight with. Alrighty. So thank you all that has stuck around and been patient throughout this whole entire huge, long, lengthy process, but I didn't want to make two videos just to be able to do a giveaway. Oh, look, the sun's coming. Look, sun, no sun. So I should probably sit over here for a minute. So anyways, um, if you want to enter in this giveaway, I want you to use the word self love. Let me put it up here so you can see S E L F L O V E use self love in a sentence form. Um, I'm going to leave all of the rules down in my description box because I don't remember them and I'm not going to look them up. I do have them like saved in a folder on my laptop, but I just don't care enough to get in there and look at it. So if you care enough to go down and read the, um, description to find out all the rules, then you'll be able to enter. There are going to be rules in there. Like you have to be 18. You must live in um, one of the 50 United States states. And I'm going to open this up to anybody in Canada. So, um, USA, Canada, only 18 and older. Um, you have to be subscribed to my channel. You know, there's going to be, you know, like things like that down in the description box that you're gonna have to follow. Um, I'm not responsible for the package once it gets mailed to you and I'm going to run this giveaway in tail. What do you think about that? Um, let's see. Today is the 12th and it is Friday. So let's just go ahead and run it until August 19th at um, 1159 PM Eastern standard time, it will end. So anyways, but I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you're interested in the giveaway, remember to use the word self love in a sentence and read all the rules in the direction or not the direction and the and read all of the rules and the description box down below. So that way you can be um, entered into this giveaway if you would like to. Alrighty. I do hope that you enjoyed watching me do all this. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome crew.